Kelly from the Aesthetic Clinic. Today I'll be talking about my client, her name is Fever. Fever is concerned about her acne and she has been having this for about five years now and I'll be treating her today. So let's talk about her case. What I'm currently seeing, Fever has comedons, Fever has purples, facial hair, mostly on the jawline area and some on the forehead area. So today I'll be giving her a treatment, a Jesna pill. It does not feel contains lactic acid, salicylic acid, and resorcinol. Okay, so I'll first start with degreasing her skin. Move away from her, spray of my cotton swab, and then cleanse her skin. So we're done, and I'll discard. So let's go into applying the peel on her face, the Jesna peel. So I'm using the blueberry Jesna from this cosmetic range. The Jesna contains lactic acid, which is an AHA, and it helps to treat acne. It also contains salicylic acid, which is a PHA, and salicylic acid is used to unclog the pores. So I'm going to use my brush and uh, apply it around her face. What I'm expecting is a white cast, but not necessarily as intense as other deep peels. I'm done applying the peel. I'm going to be covering her eyes with an eye patch and placing her under a low level light therapy treatment. The purpose of the blue LED light is to treat her acne. So I'm going to disinfect and I rub and moisturize as well. Now, after I have done with the LED light, I'm going to give her a post peel instruction paper. It contains some instructions on what she should do after this Jesna peel. At least she should minimize sun exposure and constantly apply her sunscreen. She should take lots of water, moisturize her skin as often as possible. And with this treatment, she should also expect that they'll be flaking off, but not as intense as other types of peels that I will do in the clinic. So that's all for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.